Yeah, there's something on there. Oh yeah, he's pulling. All right, Chuck just grabbed one. <laughs> oh, he's pulling really good. Woo -hoo -hoo. Holy cow, yes. What's up, people? I'm super excited about today, guys. Behind me, we have the beautiful Watauga Lake, and I'm back on a familiar boat yet again. Behind me, we have Chuck, and if you guys have seen previous videos on my channel, you know that we've done an epic lake trout video out here on Watauga Lake, and today is part two. We're gonna be getting after it. It's our first time getting out on the lake this year, so without further ado, wish us luck. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're gonna start this video off by saying that we're actually at the end of our fishing trip and we've had success. It's been a very weird June day where it's actually been very windy, it's been cold. I'm glad that Chuck let me borrow one of his jackets. But guys, we're gonna do a quick breakdown of some of the things we had success with while downrigging so you guys have a better idea of what to expect if you happen to encounter a windy and cloudy day. So guys, one thing is for sure, we did have a consistent bite. And so let's talk about that first. So Chuck, kind of give everybody a, a breakdown of what we had that was consistent that we had success with. So Mike, what was uh, most consistent was the Sutton Spoon. This is a number 31. It is a silver and gold. That was what we caught the most fish on. And actually, most of those fish were caught on a stacker on the downrigger. So if we were running the downrigger at say 50 feet, we were stacking a line above it 25, 30 feet. And that's where the majority of the fish were caught. Also, we did have some success on one lip crankbait and that is a brown trout thunder stick. So so that was the only one that they hit today as far as the lip crank baits, but majority of the success came on the old Sutton Spoon. As you guys will see, the one hit we got on the crankbait happened to be a very exciting hit. <laughs> so you guys will see later on just what we're talking about. We had to grind this one out. We had success though, I had a lot of fun, and I can't wait for you guys to join us in the action. So let's get out on the lake and let you guys in on it. Today, yeah. cloudy day, it's a good time to have any type of flash. <laughs> yeah. And believe it or not, on a cloudy day, actually a copper color sometimes is, is better than a silver color. And you know, I found that on Watauga uh, River. Yes. Um, they, they like the copper. Yes. Yeah, on a cloudy day. Very much walleye fishing too. Okay. So Michael, this is a stacker rig. Okay. This is designed so that you can actually stack uh, an extra rod on top of a downrigger. Okay. So we'll clip this to the downrigger wire. Okay. This will be clipped to our second line. So okay. we will have two rods now on each downrigger. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. So even though we got two downriggers, we're gonna be running four, <laughs> four lines. That's correct. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. So it just kind of slides down the cable. That weight pulls it down. That is cool. Because okay. I've got a clicker on yeah. my counter on here. Yeah. So what you do is this one's down 40. Okay. So I'm only going to send it down probably about 25 or 30. Gotcha. Okay. So now we've got two on this side and we're about to double up on this side as well. That way we've got 40 feet and roughly 28 to 30. Yeah. So, you know, we got multiple baits in the water. We're top. covering the spread now. Yeah, so this one's 50. We'll probably put it 25 or 30. Yeah. Or and are you going to vary it up so we'll have a spoon on one? Got kind of like there, a Rapala jerk bait uh, or? Spoon there. Got a jerk bait there. Okay. And then I probably will put another spoon there. Just okay. Just two on one side. Yeah. But then when we put our um, lead core lines out to the back. We'll oh, no. Have, uh, <laughs> the lead core. We'll, we'll definitely have. Uh, <laughs> Uh, some spoon beetles on those. That's good. I haven't done an upper body workout in a while, so it's the light core is good. That's good. <laughs> so guys, I'm always learning from Chuck because Chuck knows what to do when we're working down riggers, especially once you hook up on a fish. You know, instinctively, a lot of us, we like to just reel really hard, pump the fish up. Uh, but when it comes to some of these lines, they're way out and you're catching trout. So let's talk about that for a second. So Chuck, kind of explain to the people, what should you be doing once you hook up on a fish? Sure, Michael. Uh, once we hook a fish, what we want to do is just a steady, slow retrieve. Um, the boat is moving forward, so it's keeping tension on the fish. We just want to work it slowly towards the boat. Yeah. Um, and then, um, you know, adjust our drag as needed, depending on how much the fish is fighting and pulling. So guys, just a slow retrieve, nothing crazy. Eventually, he'll get the fish in. He's letting out the lead core now. So now it's getting serious. We're adding the last two components to the setup two leg core lines out each side. All right, guys, we're marking some big ones here. 
They're still fairly deep, but we're marking some big fish as we come around a point. Down pea gravel. Okay. Oh, 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 there you go. Fish on. You got your camera? Yep. Right, go ahead and break it loose from the down there. Pop it. Pop it. Yep. Okay. It's popped three. Right. I'm not Come feeling on. anything. I think he might have come off. He came off, but he was—he definitely hit it. He hit that Sutton spoon too. Okay. So guys, after we lost that first fish, Chuck started immediately making adjustments with more Sutton spoons when the second rod goes off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's something on there. Fish on, guys. All right. We're going to have to unclip it real quick. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Fish on, guys. We're just doing a turn, doing some re-rigging. Suddenly, this rod just started bouncing. I'm going to walk it backwards. Oh, yeah. Rainbow on the boat. All right, and the spoon's out warm he's very hot interesting so guys check out this beautiful rainbow here I'll, I'll do i'll attempt a slow motion release but you go ahead and do whatever you can even dunk them in there we go. <laughs> yeah so guys we had a little bit of a lull there we were re-rigging a few rods when suddenly um, a rod started bouncing then all of a sudden that fish came off we were kind of doing a big u-turn to come back and hit that spot again when suddenly another rod went off and all of a sudden we've got a rainbow in the boat great start let's see what else happens the wonder bread all right guys so we've gotten a consistent pattern here the last two hits have been on a sutton spoon and so now we're switching out a few things making a few adjustments and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do another pass at the zone we just went through in hopes that we find some more fish Chuck just grabbed one. <laughs> there it goes. You go ahead. Get it? Yeah, you get it. Oh yeah, we got another rainbow. You sure you don't need that? Woo, fish in the boat, guys. All right. So two fish in the boat, both rainbows. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, fish. <laughs> okay, okay, clicker's off. Here we go. Oh yeah, he's pulling. Slow and steady retrieve here, but he feels pretty good. Yeah, it feels like a good fish. Can you do me a favor real quick, Chuck? Oh no. Okay. Definitely, I can see it flashing. There he is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's still there. Where are you? Yeah, there he is. He's right below us. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's really? <laughs> yes. Rainbow on. I think this has got a fish too. Go okay. Ahead. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we've doubled. Oh, oh my goodness two fish all right guys we just doubled oh my goodness stuff's happening quick right now <laughs> we wipe the lens it's misting on us right now guys we must have gone through a little school of fish because we reeled in one and then the other one started bouncing i mean there's weight to this one yeah okay there's the flash or the dodger oh I don't know, Chuck. It's just spinning weird, that's all it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we 
first in our oh. oh, it was. It was a big fish. Shoot. Oh, we lost one, guys. It was fairly big. Landed the other one. guys one just took off and it's on the lead course so we're about to have ourselves a workout <laughs> oh he's pulling really good here we go oh man this is now this is a workout right here how long how many uh how many colors did you let out of this one six or seven okay they're coming in he's coming in oh okay he's mad now <laughs> Oh yeah, this is a good fish. Slowly cranking him in. He's coming in though. Occasionally he reminds me he's still there. Ooh. Man, he is head shaking. Man, he is an angry fish. This is where the lead core comes to play. My my forearms are <laughs> starting to get tired. <laughs> but we're getting down to it now. Should see some color here soon. Oh, that's a big. That's a big rainbow. Yes! <laughs> yeah! That's a big rainbow. <laughs> Holy cow. Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah. You were just telling me how that one was the good one. Holy smokes. Man, that is a big trout. But up there in Wilbur, there's just... Oh, here we go, here we go. Fish on, fish on. Oh. There, it came on its own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a little head bob. All right, guys, we're on another one. Right out here in the middle of the lake, working our way back. Suddenly a rod started bouncing. Let's see what we got here. Now that's getting a little closer, I'm starting to feel some weight on this thing. Oh, there he is. Is that a brown? In there? Laker, all right. <laughs> Nice lake trout too, that's a beauty. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as Chuck and I did. If you guys would like to see more Watauga Lake downrigging episodes, we have a fun one from last year that you may enjoy right here. Or if you prefer to see me in a kayak catching a big striper, I've got another fun episode right here. Till next time, tight lines. Green.